Let me show you how to turn simple chords like this into beautiful samples like this. Before we get started, the sample that I'm gonna break down is from my new sample pack called Radiate. Link is down in the description. It would really mean a lot if you checked it out. There's even a free version in case you don't want to spend any money on it. And yeah. Alright, let's get started with the sample. I started with this very simple chord progression. So we're in the scale of B minor. Technically it's D major, but I always like to think in the minor scale because that's what I'm more familiar with. For most samples it's better to keep the chord progressions pretty simple. So I only have these two main chords, which is a G major 7 chord and a D major 9 chord. And then for just a bit variation I put these chords in the end. This is just a B minor 7 chord, but with an inversion. And this chord is a bit spicy because it has this note which isn't in the scale. But let me explain why it works. So in the B minor scale the 5 chord would be an F sharp minor chord. Or an F sharp minor 7 chord. And this one would also work perfectly in the end here. And it would be completely in scale. But you can turn the 5 chord of a minor scale into a dominant 7 chord. By raising this 3rd up a semitone. And then we have this chord. And that dominant 7 chord always creates a beautiful tension, which is perfect for soul and R&B type of beats and samples. And another reason why this chord works so well in this progression is because it really builds the tension to go back to the first chord, because of all the half steps that we have here. Alright, enough music nerd talk, let's get to the next element that I added. I added this melody with my acoustic guitar. I added this amazing guitar rig preset, it's called Filtered Raum and it basically turns your guitar into a synthesizer and this is what that sounds like. So basically 90% of the sample is done already. We have a nice moody chord progression and we have a simple catchy lead melody. What's left now is making the sample more interesting by adding variation, textures and just unique things that make your sample stand out from other ones. So I grabbed the guitar melody that I just showed you and I just reversed every single note. Just gives the sample a nice trippy texture. Then I added these keys. Once again, just very simple. They just play the main chord from top to bottom. I added some more guitar, but I only strummed the chords on the first beat. For accents and textures like this, I think it's always really important to play around with lots of effects to kind of drown the sound out in the mix and create an atmosphere rather than having it stand out as a melody. The next element I added was another pad. Once again just trying to add more texture and character to the sample. You can see here I'm going along with the main chords again. And I think that's also really important for texturing your sample is that you don't add lots of melodic elements to it and rather just enhance the main melody and chords that you already have and make them sound more interesting. So here's what we have so far. Like I said, it's also important to add variation to keep the listener interested. So for the next part, I added this texture. As you can probably tell, that sounds pretty familiar. And that's because I rendered out the main pad. 
and I just pitched it up an octave and I added a few effects like reverb and I did this fade in fade out kind of thing. With the main pad it sounds like this. It just makes it sound a little more interesting in the high frequencies. Next it was time for some vocals. I used this arcade bank and I just played around on the keys until I found some slices that I like. And this is what I came up with. I also added this vocal one shot in the end just to make it a bit more interesting. Once again I wanted even more texture and I played around with the vocals that I just showed you. I ended up reversing the entire thing, adding lots of effects and just trying out different stuff, experimenting with weird effects and I came up with this texture. I also added a very simple bass line in the first part just to make the low end a bit thicker and make the sample sound more full. And I'll show you what we have so far. So now it was time for another switch up, I grabbed my guitar again. Once again I was too lazy to come up with a new melody so I just went with the chords and I played them like this. I also added this texture by playing the chords in a different way, like this. I pitched that up one octave and added some effects and this is what that sounds like together. Then I grabbed the guitar melody that I showed you in the beginning, but this time without the guitar rig effect and I let it sound like an actual guitar. So we are kind of switching up the vibe for this section but still keeping the general theme of the sample by reusing that melody. And to make the section sound even more familiar I added the vocals here as well and the bass line and together that section sounds like this. Alright now for the last section it's very very similar to the first and second section. I basically just copy pasted a few elements but I made it a bit less full by adding less elements. So we only have the pad, the bass line and the main melody. But to also give this section a purpose, I added one more texture, which is really interesting, I think. I used this exhale contact library and I played this note. I rendered that out as an audio clip, applied some effects to make it sound less harsh. And this is what that sounds like. And even though that sounds pretty weird, I really like it and I think it's perfect for the outro of the sample. And I think it also works really well after that more acoustic section. So the last element I added was just some percussion. I took two different percussion loops, just chopped them up a bit, added lots of equalizing just to really put it in the back of the sample and that's what that sounds like.
To really finish off the sample, I exported everything as an audio clip, played around with a few different pitches and tempos. I ended up pitching the sample up 200 cents, which is two semitones. On the master, I put this Maximus plugin, which is just a multi band compressor. I made sure the lows are all mono, separated the mids a bit and made the highs completely stereo. And then I just turned the gain up a bit to make the sample louder in general. And this is what the final sample sounds like. That's it for this video, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, my new sample pack is out now, with the sample I just showed you and many more. Link in the description, and yeah, see you next time.